And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today I'm taking a look at a small game called Tinker Tailor. Now, Tinker Tailor is a small card game that comes in a really unassuming box with, well, frankly, not very good artwork. And normally I look at this game and be like, eh, and toss it aside. But Richard Denning is a designer, and I knew who he was. I knew that he has played and written and done, talked a lot about games. He runs the UK Games Expo. So I thought, well, maybe there's more in this box than meets the eye. So let's take a look at it. Join me. In the middle of the table, you're gonna place cards here that goods cards equal to the number of players plus two. So this is like a four player game. There are different goods in the game. Each good uh, shows you kind of the, the, the cost of that good. And it also shows you how much those goods would be worth at the end of the game. So if I have one fish at the end of the game, it's worth nothing. But if I have eight of them, it's worth 36. Wow, if I have eight of the cloth at the end of the game, it's going to be worth 90, or the gems, I'm sorry. The eight of the cloth would be 54. That's probably not going to happen. What's going to happen is you're going to take a pile of roll cards. There are 17 roll cards. You are going to shuffle these roll cards and you're going to draw roll cards equal to the number of players plus uh, two more. So then one person is going to take those number of cards. They're going to look through those and pick one of them, then pass it to the next person and so on. So everyone's going to take one of those cards and the last person will have a choice between three cards. Then, whoever was first player is going to basically read through the rhyme. Tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor, rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief, preacher, pirate, outlaw, jailer, old man, young man, merchant, witch, actor. <laughs> okay? Now, they're not going to read through that fast. When they get to your thing, you will play your card, do whatever your card says, and then you also can spend any money cards you have to buy these uh, cards and put, and put them in your hand. So, you know, if I have a four, I could buy a cloth or I could buy two fish. And if I if there's any change available in this row, you can take it. But if there isn't change, well, then you're just out of luck. So what do each of the things do? Well, first we have the tinker. The tinker takes one or more of the lowest value goods from the market. So in this case, a tinker has a good thing because the lowest values are twos and there's three of them. So he could take all three of those if he wants to. The tailor can take any one goods card. So I'd say, oh, if I'm the tailor, I'll take the gems. That's a good one. The soldier draws two money cards, takes one, and gives one to the other person with the lowest number of cards. So look at these, a two and a five. Well, I'll keep the five and give the two to the lowest person. The sailor takes any two adjacent good cards. So if these are gone and that's gone, I guess these are the only two left, if, those, if this tinker and tailor had already been in here. The rich man takes the highest money value card in the market. The poor man takes as many of the lowest value ones as possible, so he could take all three ones. So if, you're, if you pick poor man, you're hoping that there's no ones and that like maybe twos are there. The beggar man takes one coin money card or a bread card, which is the lowest value good card. There are bread cards that are value one from each other player if they have one. They get to pick which one. The thief can go through, through someone's cards and take one of them. The preacher draws the top three goods cards he takes one, discards one, and gives one to the beggar man. If there's no beggar man, he gives it to the poor man. If there's no poor man, he has to give it to somebody. The pirate takes two cards and replaces those cards with pirates, and they'll stay there until the pirate person is played again, and then these two would be considered adjacent for purposes of like the guy who takes two adjacent goods. The outlaw can, can steal um, uh, one good from another player. They pick what the kind there is. The Jailer, if the Thief, Pirate, or Outlaw was used this turn, they have to pay you a fine of one random goods cards each, and you get a money card as a salary. The Old Man lets you draw a money card for every three cards in your hand. So if you have a lot of cards, the Old Man is good. The Young Man either lets you take the lowest good card and the lowest money card, which could be pretty high at this point if other people have already taken the lowest ones, or you can take any one card. The Merchant can take all the good cards of a single type, if there's any left. The witch takes a random good card from each player, shuffles them all up, takes one, passes them around the table, and draws one from here too. The person who plays the witch gets two. 
everyone else gets one more, and the actor can copy someone else's special ability. You're going to do this for a certain number of rounds. At the end of each round, you replace the cards that have been taken. You'll shuffle these. There'll be new rolls. And once the rounds are over, coin cards are equal to half their value rounded up in points. And good cards are worth the amount that you have of them. Well, there's some interesting things here. First of all, this game has a slight Citadels vibe, right? As you pick the rolls, pass them around, and each roll does something. And I like how the rolls kind of interact with each other. The first roll lets you take the one, one thing, the next roll takes another. So the, the later rolls are definitely better, but they, you know, there might not be anything left. And in a bigger player number game, if you play with six players, there's gonna be a lot more of that going on. If I had any quibbles, well, I guess I do have quibbles. The quibbles would be, there's too many of the attack other player cards. I would have left maybe one or two of those in there. I think that they should exist, but if three or four of those come in a game, it's very easy for very few cards to be out there, and it can be very frustrating to be a, finally get something and then someone take it away from you. And I, I feel like that's there. And the witch card, which takes cards randomly from our player's hands, I found that that was chaotically annoying. Everyone hated that card. So we checked it out and we played it that instead of the card being randomly coming from hand, you could pick which card came from your hand, and that made it much better. Um, the person who played the witch still had an advantage because they got two cards from this mix, but it just, it, it just made that card flow smoother. There's also some cards that I wasn't quite sure exactly how they work. Timing-wise, it would have been good had that been addressed in the rules. But for the most part, it played pretty smoothly. And I was pretty happy with how it worked. You know, I mentioned here, you know, if you get eight fish, you get 36 points. I don't even know if that's possible. I know you can get high amounts of them. And so there's that back and forth in the game as you're trying to get money and goods, you're watching the goods other people take, and taking the right role. And because there's 17 different roles, you're never sure what combination of roles you'll get. Especially if you're the last person, you're not sure what role the first person picked. You're like, well, I got these three. Well, if you're the first person, you know whatever role you take. You can see what other roles you're essentially offering the other players. So, I'd love to see this come out in a nicer version. Better production, decent artwork, um, better you know, graphics. Yeah, the, the whole thing just doesn't look that great. It certainly looks homemade, but there's a good game in here, and i like to see it go farther. Pretty cool little game here. I wasn't expecting that, but Tinker Taylor. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.